This week's Social Sunday, we're going to be making sun catchers. In your kit will be sticks to use as the cross pieces and yarn. There are many different variations, and so you may have some yarn at home you want to use, or you can use actually actual twigs from outside. The options are many. One of the hardest parts is to begin. You take two sticks, cross them over. With the yarn, you want to make a very sturdy connection in the center. And you will pick up the yarn and go diagonally across the two sticks for three rounds. And then diagonally in the other direction for three rounds. Turning it over, you will then tie the um, tail to the ball of, of yarn to make it extra tight. Picking it up, you kind of measure it, push it about so that they are equal sides. And you are ready to begin wrapping the yarn around the sticks. There are only two directions. And so it's learning how to do it going over the sticks or under the sticks. This is a second demonstration doing the same thing using actual sticks from outside. There are only two ways to do the yarn. One is to go over the sticks, the other is to go under the sticks. On this one, I'm going under the sticks, wrapping around, and then going on to the next stick, going under. By going under, you will see the sticks more. They will become um, covered by the yarn and you will see the sticks to a greater degree. The other way is to go over the sticks. Go completely over, wrap it around and go to the top of the next stick. By going over the stick, the yarn is closer to the top and it looks more uh, flatter. You don't see the stick. You just see the weaving between the sticks. By going under the stick, it highlights the stick itself. It's the combination of those two that makes the design. The design also happens when you change colors Sometimes you have to stop and think about what was I doing and maybe take a bit out and do it again until you have done a couple of the sun catchers and you will also find it very quickly find it um, easy to do that you will be able to tell the difference. The other way to add depth and color is to add color. If you turn over your sun catcher and just gently tie another piece of yarn on, trying hard to keep it beyond or behind the stick so that it won't show. You can cut the ends off now, or you can cut them off later. And we take it up again. 
either going over or under and around. We added silver and did about an inch of a silver design and now adding green. After you have completed, cut off the yarn and tie two slip knots. It's important to get it tight so it doesn't unravel. And if you have a little bit of glue at home, it would be good just to put a dab of glue at the very end where you are tying the yarn. Then make a slip knot and hang it up by the window. It's hard to make just one and you will find as you are making them, you can add them together, putting one on top of another and they become a, a three layered sun catcher. <laughs> 